the fossil fuel age has gone hand in hand with objectifying a living earth, our mother. Nature has been declared dead, just raw materials to be exploited, waste to be dumped. But the earth is living. Even science teaches us that. James Lovelock called her Gaia after the Greek goddess, but on the basis of his studies on the self-organization of the planet, including the fact that she maintains the temperature at the right level in order for the biosphere to thrive, including the human species. We are now trashing this planet with false assumptions that the Earth is dead. And if the Earth is dead, then killing her doesn't even matter to you. We have to both become aware of the amazing Earth we live in and of which we are a part. We are members of the Earth family. And we have to realize that superiority in exploitation is an outmoded definition of progress. The love and care we can give the Earth has to become the future measure of progress if we have to have, to have a future for the human species. Otherwise, we are destroying the conditions of our life. All indications show that across the world, ecosystems have been devastated. And when we think of the planet as a whole, of course, the climate uh, devastation is severe. But long before the climate gets destabilized, soils are killed, water systems are killed. Look at Lake Chad, 1 20th of what it used to be. 30 million people were supported. Today they are uprooted. Then you get Boko Haram through the conflicts that rise. The same is with Syria. 2009, one million refugees because of the collapse of agriculture with desertification and water running out. You get conflicts, they're manipulated, and the tragedy of Paris is a residual effect. So we have to love each other fiercely. We have to love the earth fiercely with intelligence and responsibility.